CBS 46 News presents Public Affairs on Peach. Good morning and welcome to a special edition of Public Affairs on Peach. I'm Fred Khalil and if you see me here, you know we're going to talk about sports. We're going to start with the role the city of Atlanta is on. In 2018, Atlanta will host the college football championship game. In 2019, we get Super Bowl 53 and in 2020, Atlanta hosts the Final Four. Rich McKay, the Falcon CEO and president, joins me now to talk about our embarrassment of riches, if you will. Thanks for coming in, Rich. I, I don't mean, know it's an embarrassment. We're happy to have it. That's for I mean, sure. that's a you got a lot of things going on, and what a great week it's been for the city of Atlanta. And what was your reaction when you got the Super Bowl this week? I think, Fred, I think we were overall relieved. We had put so much time and effort into it. Uh, th there's so much that's gone in, and so many people have contributed, uh, whether that's mayors, whether that's governors, state legislatures, city council. I mean, there's just a lot of people that have contributed to trying to create a public-private partnership that would end up uh, with this building we're going to have and these events that we're going to get. And what about the planning that goes into the pitch? You yeah. know? Well, the pitch is, is interesting because you, know, you, you go into the pitch with, you're not trying to make this the ultimate sales pitch, right? You're trying to make this about Atlanta and trying to tell the story of Atlanta without bragging about your building, about trying to say our building's better than your building. You're really just trying to say, take a look at us as a city. Take a look at what we've done. Take a look at the changes since 2000, the last time we hosted the game. But there's a lot that went into it. We, you know, there's Rick Smith and, and, and Doug Hertz, and those were the two co-chairmen. Local guys, one the CEO of Equifax, one the CEO of United Distributors, one born and raised here, one from out of town. We tried to show differences, and then we used um, Ambassador Young, the true spokesman of Atlanta, oh, yeah. if you I mean, will. When he, when he talks, people yeah. listen. And room. he was the pitch man in the video and did a wonderful job just of telling the story of how Atlanta has transformed, how the Olympics helped us transform, and the difference in what downtown Atlanta is today uh, versus the last time the Super Bowl was here in 2000. Okay, who was the editorial board, if you will, that put together the presentation and the pitch and the video and everything? Who, who kind of set that Well, up? I would say Brett Jukes, our, our communications uh, guru. I would say uh, myself, and I would say uh, David Lewis, who helped uh, do the video for us. Uh, we, we, we were kind of the uh, editors, if you will. We used um, Arthur to we'd send him finals, and he would say, change this, do this. Um, a lot of people played a big part. And then... I think Doug and Rick, in their presentations, you know, we gave them what I thought were fantastic scripts, and they kind of tore them apart and came back with their own, which because they wanted to say it in their own words, which well they should, uh, and did a really good job. And who made the uh, the pitch to the owners, and what did it entail, really? So we got we've got those two uh, guys made the pitch. We used the video, and then the way it works is they, we get 15 minutes to present a, as a city. And then we had the other four cities all present. Then the owners from the individual cities get five minutes, and, and Arthur made the close. And what do you think impressed the owners, the NFL owners? What do you think about the pitch maybe impressed them the most? I still think it's a commitment of, of the public to step up and, and do the right thing and, and make the stadium happen in the way it happened in the public-private partnership that we created. I think one of the things we said in there that's interesting is when you really look at what Atlanta has done, uh, Atlanta stepped up in 1965 and built Atlanta Fulton County Stadium uh, to attract two major league franchises, that being the Braves and the Falcons. Stepped up again in 92 when uh, Rankin Smith said, I, I want a new football centric stadium and did that in a 100% publicly financed stadium. And then when Arthur stepped up at the end of our lease and said, I want to build a new building, I want to do it in a public private partnership, they stepped up again. So it's a really good story for how public private partnerships can work. And this is a just reward and the economic impact that will be tremendous to us in hosting a Super Bowl. You know, one thing that everybody brought up, and I remember this, I know you probably do too, the ice storm here. Did, did that get brought up at all? <laughs> did you take any? No, it didn't really, Fred. I, we, we, you know, listen, we've I heard it ask, before. Bill. We've heard it before. We've heard the discussion before. I was here uh, when it happened. I was working for another team. I was here. I was, I've never seen anything quite like it. But that's a 50-year, 100-year storm. Now, we had another one a couple years ago, but that, <laughs> that just, you know, the chances of that happening are minimal. Now, we did, we were prepared for the question because all the work the state and the city have done in getting ourselves ready for any potential ice down the road, we presented that to them in, in our bid package. Never, the question never came up, though. So what's next now? Now that you got the Super Bowl, what, what do you have to yeah. do to, to get ready? These, so we've already formed the uh, College Football Championship Committee, right? We've already got people running it. We're already having meetings. We will now take that next step with the Super Bowl. We have a host committee. We're, we're adding people to that committee as we go. We'll have to hire a CEO. That CEO will either be somebody we borrow from a company that will come work it for 18 months, 
or somebody that we will actually go out and hire that's done this before. Um, and we'll begin to have meetings. There's a lot that goes into this bid. There's a lot of events. This is not a, you know, hey, we'll get ready three months out. This is something we were going to work on 18 months in advance. And dealing with the NFL people, they told me, hey, we'll be there in two to two months. We'll come by and see you. And I'm like, two months from now? They said, yeah. So they'll, they'll be here, and they're going to start working on this game pretty quickly. You know, any suggestions or emails on halftime shows yet? None yet, no. What do you like? What do you want? What, 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 don't don't give me some Beach Boys old school No, thing. no, no. I'm not try that to, old. Come try on to get now. me in there. Neither one of us are that Yeah, well, I was close. But to try, <laughs> to, to try to get me into somewhere that, you know, somebody might understand what we're, what we're looking and listening to. I'll have to ask the kids on that one. Yeah, good. All right. Well, stay right here. We're going to talk to Rich about the new Falcon Stadium when Public Affairs on Peach returns after this.